Now aquarium keeping is really a patient person's hobby. So often people need to do something to their aquarium. It might be reduce their algae by lowering their phosphate. It might be increase the pH, increase the calcium, um, whatever. Patience is king. And there is a um, theory which is called biological lag. Biological lag is generally a period of about three weeks. And what that means is that if you're trying to do something to your aquarium biologically, um, if you're trying to affect the biology or the equilibrium of your aquarium with the chemistry or whatever, if you're trying to stabilize something, if you're waiting for something to grow, then everything takes time. So slow, small, regular changes is really the key. So once again, if you're trying to, for example, get rid of algae, the first thing you've got to do is start lowering your phosphate level. So if you use phosphate removers, and it's going to take a bit of time, get your phosphate down to zero, and then usually about three weeks, then once you've got your, your phosphate to zero, it will take about three weeks for the algae to start to die. Then once it starts to die, you keep your phosphate at zero, and it will take about another three weeks for the algae to actually die off. So once again, everything that occurs in your aquarium takes time and patience is king. The more patient you are with your aquarium, the more successful your aquarium is going to be. And making sure that you leave three, if not four weeks in between everything you do. For example, if your fish are a little bit skinny, you might start feeding them a bit more. Then you leave it three to four weeks before you judge if the increased feed is making any difference then your fish might be getting a bit fat then you might reduce the food and leave it about three four weeks and to see if that's made any difference patience is king understanding and respecting biological lag is um, imperative for running any sort of aquarium especially a planted or reef aquarium